Hey everyone, it's Nick with Awesome vs. Herd. If it's your first time here and this video was of value to you, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. The UVH fam is growing every day. It's great to have you all here. Glad you're watching. Hope this helps you. Um, I'm going to be talking about importing your trades through TurboTax uh, from Robinhood. And if you're if you're not sure what uh, TurboTax is, you're not sure what. Just real quick, I'm just going to go over it real quick. If you're not sure which one, which package you get when you're on the TurboTax website, obviously there's different different packages here. And this one says Premier. You're most likely going to be Premier. I'm 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 self-employed just because I have a lot more going on. But if you're if you if you have just a regular job and you're doing trading, you're most likely going to be in the Premier. But I recommend the online version just because it's it's just easy to get started. I use the online version. Um, unless you're filing like multiple returns and stuff. But if you just have like one return, keep it simple. You know, you can start for free and then it kind of goes to that. If you, if you want to start with the deluxe, you know, go through that and it'll actually ask you those questions or you can just say, or you can go through here and it kind of helps you. It's like, oh, I sold stock or own rubber property. So when it says I sold stock, they're actually talking about, you can say I sold options too. Same thing. They basically want to know if you, if you, if you sold any um, investments in 2018 or last year so if you click on this obviously it says hey we recommend premiere so there you go but we're gonna get we're gonna get started here um, I've already gotten my tax return started um, you know obviously you can it's, it's, it's very simple to use I fired my accountant over this just because he was charging so much money for all the trades I did and it was just getting out of hand and it, I found this is the easiest way to get started is the easiest way to import you know especially if you have hundreds or thousands of trades over the over the course of a year definitely um, way easier than you know giving all your trades and information to your accountant and having them you know trust me you know the 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 59 bucks, 60 bucks here, and maybe it ends up costing you like 100 bucks even, is gonna be way cheaper. My account was charging me three to five grand every time. So, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna use that money to go on vacation versus spend it doing my taxes. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's pretty simple. If you, and also if you have questions, I don't get paid from TurboTax, by the way. I don't get anything out of this. I just wanna help you guys. Um, just, there's been a lot of questions about this recently. And so let's, let's get started. Um, after after you after you after you pick which one you want, you, you create your account. You give them your info. I'm not going to go go through all that because it's very basic. They ask for your name, social security address. I mean, this is not this is not tax advice by any means. It's just a tutorial on how to use the software. I'm not telling you how to um, you know what to do with your taxes. I'm just going to show you how to use the software and how to import your trades. So once you start to get to filing your return, you go to income and income and expenses and it has you start like bringing in your account so let's say you had something with these are the most popular obviously you know let's say you had investments from TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab or... all right so what you're going to do here under bank name you're going to start typing in Robinhood and you're going to notice that it says Robinhood Apex and Robinhood Securities and the reason why it says there's two is because last year if you guys don't know Robinhood changed their clearing um, they were using Apex and then they moved over to Robinhood Securities to bring it in house. So if you go under your Robinhood account and you're like, hey, what, I don't know what, what to do. Maybe, maybe some people only have Apex and some people only have Robinhood. In my case, I have both. And like, how, how do you tell the difference? Um, under under your account. So if you go to account and then you go to documents, you'll see you'll start seeing your your tax documents here. And there's a February 2019 one and a January 2019 one. I checked both. I don't know why it says I have two January 2019 ones. Robinhood's always a little weird. Um, but they're, I, I looked over both documents. They're the same. Uh, one is Apex and then one is um, uh, Robinhood Securities, right? So we'll go one at a time. So we're, we're going we're gonna to do Apex and then we're going to do, do Robinhood Securities. So I'm going to do click on this January 19, 2019 one and I'm going to blur a lot of this stuff out but you'll get the idea um you know most importantly here you're going to want to look at your account name you know and, and just provide the information that you have and you can tell that you're on the right one because in the in the left here it says apex clearing so we'll start with that one so we're going to go apex and then it says enter enter your account number and let me get that you can just you can just take it off right off the form there we're gonna paste it in there 
and then we're going to I'm going to enter this in obviously I'm going to blur stuff out so I can uh, <laughs> all right we'll get get my, and then after after you get the right count number in there and you know like I said it's just it's just listed on the top of your document here you type in your social security number and hit get my form obviously you got to go through this stuff just because I want to make sure you're not spam continue and it found it and all you have to do is hit import now okay and then it says tell us if any of these apply to your info now this this I'm you know these don't apply to me but you know carefully read all of these um, I'm gonna say none of these apply to me because I know my information is correct. I'm not. An, I don't have an employee stock plan or anything like that. But you know, I'm not gonna give you advice on that. You kind of go, gotta go through what's the best for you. I'll just hit continue once once you know everything's right. And you can actually, if you want, you can go through all these and you know, kind of figure out what you want to do. And it, but it, you can you can go through everything. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I want to get to the other Robinhood securities. You can also after you import, you can also go through it again as well. Um, you know, go through the form, make sure it's right. You know, you have obviously this. Your taxes are important. You want to make sure you're 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 submitting the right information. If you want to go through all your trades, you can. Um, but just like that, imported in just like a couple seconds. So I'm just gonna hit done on that. So we'll hit done. And then it'll ask you have any other investment sales from another bank or brokerage. We'll hit yes. And we'll hit yes. Did you get a 1099? We'll hit yes. And then it brings you back to the screen. And we'll type in Robinhood, but this time we're going to go to Robinhood Securities. And then we're going to go into, we're going to go back into Robinhood and get that information. I'm going to go to the February one and get my account information. So I'm going to get the account number. So I'm just going to copy and paste off of this. account number and then it wants the document ID is in the upper right hand corner here so we'll just copy and paste that I don't know if it took the spaces or not we can we'll see we'll see what happens here continue see if it finds it okay so it got that information. We're going to hit import now. Again, I'm just going to say none of these apply to me, but you can you can do what you want to do, whatever you need to do. Um, okay. Looks like Robinhood Securities was just on the stock side. So then we're just you just gotta you, you can go kind of go through this you got you can match up the boxes box A and D I've already done this so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time here um, you can you just want to make sure on your on your 1095 1099 form that these boxes are correct hit done and then you can hit do you have any other investment sales from another brokerage you can hit no or if you do if you have TD Ameritrade you have E trade or whatever the case is you can hit yes and it, it'll keep taking you on that loop so um, so i definitely hope this helps it was definitely very easy but just remember uh for 2018 you're most likely going to have like myself you're going to have two one from apex and um one from one from the uh, like robin hood security so if this video was of value to you, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment if you have questions. Like I said, this is just a tutorial on how to use the software, not any tax advice or anything like that. Just want to show you how to get your trades imported. So hope you guys all have a great day. It's always us versus her. Stay safe, stay green.